In the great expanse of the nether, there exist boundless amounts of magnificent phenomena. The great brilliance of an exploding star, the nimble dance of space dust through a nebula. But once every 1,000 years, our corner of reality is treated to an incredible sight. From the deep eldritch recesses of the cosmos, the tears of a forgotten colossus begin to fall. Tears made of the hopes and dreams of every living thing that never came to be, condensed and sent shooting across the night sky in a dazzling final display. What appears to mortal beings as a meteor shower, we can see for what it is. Azathoth's tears. <laughs> Daddy! Can we go see it someday? Yes, dear, I promise. When the day comes, nothing will be able to keep me from being there with you. Good night, my owlet. Good night. <laughs> hey, Dad. Dad? Dad? Yes, I know. It will be there shortly. Of course they're being careful. Dad, what's going on? Apparently, your mother can't exist somewhere two minutes without the entirety of her possession before she... What? No, I'm not turning her against you. you... Yes, Stella! Dad, this is going to be done before tonight, right? What? Oh, I hardly think so. Knowing your mother, this will take all weekend. Don't be gentle about it now. Break whatever you have to to get it all in there. What? What did you just tell them to do? But tonight, we're supposed to... Darling, can we not talk about this now? Your mother's being a real B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to know you can spell? I've never seen you read. Just a shit. Looney, please, can we talk? Fuck! Oh, I mean, wow, a good throw, honey. I'm so proud of you! What's this all about, honey? Oh, let's finally talk to her about her attitude with clients. And I just think some small tweaks might help you be more of a uh, people person, you know? I am a people person. If I'm so terrible, how about you just grow a pair and replace me? Okay, well, maybe I... maybe I might. What? Maybe I will, little missy. Yeah, that's right, it's tough love time, so now you can go to your desk! <sighs> uh... Sir, if I may say so, you're doing the right thing. If we can't even hire a cheerful, qualified receptionist, how can people trust us to massacre and mutilate their enemies for them? It's good for business. Take me to see the stars. Um, sir? The fuck? Luna? Oh yeah, you have a visitor. Where am I? My territory, bitch! Take your shitty costume and get some fuck off my corner! Shit, 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 shit! What the fuck am I supposed to tell Stolas? Well, he seems to like you, sir. Maybe he would understand Okay, it. my dick is good, but it is not that good, Moxie. Sir, 
I don't think we really have a choice. So what, you want me to just call him up and be like, hey, Stolas, so your daughter came by, took your book and teleported off to who the fuck knows where, we have no way of getting either of them back, okay? Okay, good talk, bye. Oh, that actually went better than I thought. <laughs> Do you, can you help, how, how do I get, I, I, excuse me, I just need to know where I can see the stars. <laughs> yes! How could this happen? Do you just let anyone waltz into your office and grab infinitely powerful artifacts? Why would she do this? How are we supposed to find her? Where would she go? Well, it reeks of urine and desperation, so... Ugh, L-A. What? All right, Luna, let's make this quick. In and out before anyone notices us here. Oh, this doesn't look much different from hell. All right, now let's get to work. Looney, sniff. How am I supposed to smell anything in this city? Can't you even do one thing right? Can't you finally do something about how fat you are? I'm not. You know, it wouldn't kill you to put a salad in your body every now and then. What? But I'm not fat. Now, first things first, if we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way, we're gonna need disguises. No chance you can conjure us a couple of those, can you? Sadly, no. I'm afraid without my grimoire, my powers are just a tad limited in the human world. What, you can't memorize your fucking spells? Oh, your memory's so great? What's his phone number? Fuck you. Exactly. Little man, how about you check out this demo right here? This is premium grade A fire right here. Perfect for you to crank with the little lady. Oh, wow. You made this? Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. hold up a sec. You just gonna grab it and go? He said thank you. 20 bucks, man. Millie, we need money to pay this talented artist. You can just give it back, Mark. <gasps> Millie. These artists put their heart and soul into their work. I can't just give it back like it's worthless. It probably is. Sick demon costume, man. It's metal as fuck. I have an idea. Whoa, oh, hey, 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 come back here. Uh, I have an idea. Uh. And to your left, you'll see the home of one of those influencers who thinks they're hot shit because now they do TV shows. <sighs> so? Ah! Look, everyone! It's Hollywood star Brandon Rager! The fuck is a Brandon Rager? Oh, oh dear. You're my lovely little monster, and I'll never say goodbye. I will kill for you until the day we die. And here you are, my fellow troubadour. Whatever, man. Get the fuck out of here. You're cramping my business. Come on, babe. We have to catch up to Blitz before... Hey, wanna buy some art? What? Yes! I'm taking this out of their face! <laughs> Mr. Ragers, we've been looking for you everywhere. You were supposed to be on set an hour ago. Oh. What the fuck are you talking about? Your guest spot on... Sweetie, I'm in the house. We're taping tonight. Now hurry up and get in the car. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere with you, Jizz Biscuit. Very funny, Mr. Ragers. Now get in the car. Psst, 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 psst. Come, come on, boy, come on. Get your fucking hands off me, Luna! Stole this little help here! Excuse me, sir. I'm Mr. Rager's agent. And I don't believe you can just... Oh, you are strong. 
Blitz, we don't have time for this. Fia could be anywhere. She could be in danger. Don't worry, I'm on it. Cody, go find Via. We'll catch up soon. Yeah, way to be a team player, sweetie. She's in great hands. Five. What? Five what? I, I can't be on a sitcom. Should have had an ego crisis before signing the contract. I, 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 whoa, I don't even know the fucking lines, idiot. Well, that's why God invented teleprompters. Shouldn't he rehearse or something? No can do. We're live in ten, nine. Oh shit, eight, oh shit, seven, oh shit, oh shit. Five, and, uh, I, I, I can't do this. No, not again. I, I haven't performed since... Glitz, if your performance on stage is half as good as it is in bed, you'll leave them breathless. Now hurry up and wow them so we can get back to finding Via. Break a leg, darling! Action! Well, if it isn't our neighbor, Ronnie. You feel that earthquake earlier? Say something. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was just my wife rolling out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then that bitch hit her head on the way down and shattered her skull. <clears throat> There's blood everywhere. Peter pants. <laughs> 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 You've gone and done it again. That's the fifth couch this year. <laughs> you know, maybe it's about time I found you a new home. One that could put up with your attitude. I could take him, Mr. Ronnie. I'd be happy to adopt old Uggy and give him the attention he needs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you should adopt. Aw, they're all so cute. And they're sad. Maybe you could adopt this one here. Quite a strong lad. He'll be perfect for whatever work you want to use him for. Ugh. No, I'm not looking for no ugly wonker. I need something that's more family friendly. A gift for the wife, huh? No problem. We have a nice selection of other hounds. Who's that? Oh, her. That's just Luna. What a nightmare for serious attitude problems. She'll be out of our hair next month when she ages out. Good riddance, if you ask me, she'll never amount to anything much. No, 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 you, you can't have her. She's mine and I love her. But Mr. Ronnie, you gotta let me have the puppy. You just got her. Don't you touch her, you little anal fissure! <laughs> oh, you think this is funny, assholes? She's not fit to be a mother! I saw her doing lines of coke in her dressing room! 
Now, uh, Ronnie, I think maybe you should... Ow! You can't have my baby, bitch! I'll never get rid of her! find me your Instagram nice pics by the way oh, thanks you okay can't believe I was so stupid I spent all day looking for a place where I can see some dumb meteor shower and all I get is this yeah smog's a bitch You know, your dad's really worried about you. Right, that's why you're here instead of him. He couldn't be bothered to keep his promise, and now he can't be bothered to come and get me himself. He'd rather spend his time just screaming at my mum. Why does he hate her more than he loves me? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's not as simple as that kind of shit gets messy. Everybody's got issues, especially dads. And sometimes they fuck up. Well, all the time. That doesn't mean they don't care. If he cares, where is he? He's somewhere down there. <laughs> He's here? Looking for you. I mean, try to cut your dad some slack. He may not always get it right, but he's trying. That's more important than you think. You ready to go? Yeah. Now, if we can just find where... Oh, Luna, my sweet baby girl, I'm so sorry. I'll never replace you no matter what you do. You're good. Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm just relieved you're okay. But what would possess you to do such a thing? You know I haven't taught you spells like this yet. I just wanted to see the stars you promised. The stars? <gasps> Azathoth's tears. Oh, no. Oh, my dear sweet Fia, I am so... I know, Dad. It's okay. You're here now. What the fuck is that? My acting career. <gasps> Look at that one. Did you see that one? Now, where the fuck are Eminem? Oh, oh, art is heavy. March, mister. You're my pretty ray of hellfire, and you set my soul alight. I'm aflame with love for you, my dove, you see. Maxie. You're the sweetly rotten past you on my heart as it decays. You're 
the stench of evil clinging to my every dying day. You're the melody in every song. You're the reason nothing's ever wrong. You're the first thing that I think of when I wake anew to kill again. And I'll never say goodbye I will kill for you Until the day we die